Hey guys, the balloon here. Today's flooded valley chimps, black border, super easy strategy for this new expert map with the new hero. I'm super excited about it. Let's jump right in. Before we drop that first tower, definitely drop a like below. And if you guys have been to this channel more than a couple of times, definitely consider subscribing because it does help out the channel and it would be greatly appreciated. But the first thing we're gonna do is drop a sub right here. And for the PC, it kind of has to be pixel perfect for him to hit all the blooms that we want to hit on this first round. And this first round is gonna be kind of like one of the hardest, to be honest, just because of how it's gonna play out here. I will do it and then show you or tell you guys about it afterwards but he's not gonna be able to eat all these balloons up. And so we're gonna have to micro very fast and put another sub down, which is a little difficult on mobile, but that's where I originally beat it. So I know it is possible. I did it a few dis different times. It is a lot easier on PC though, not gonna lie. We're actually not gonna make this one, I don't think. Yeah, oh cool, we actually did. But sometimes what usually happens is when that balloon gets as far as it did, you probably can't do it, but you're gonna wanna get him as far as you can, closest to that edge. And what's gonna happen when you're using your thumb is it probably won't, but if you're a little, bit off it's not that big of a deal it's not going to make or break the whole game so don't worry about it next thing we're going to do is we're going to get admiral brickle which has just recently been nerfed guys and now she levels up as slow as like say churchill or azili and not as fast as open or gwendolyn which is fine and is totally workable for this strategy but that is why i did not get you guys a video on wednesday because i had magic monkeys only already set up and then they did that nerf and then I went to do my strategy late that night because I got home from work that late, that day late on Wednesday and I had to skip my stream to make the video. I sat down to do my strategy. I'm like, why isn't this working? And sure enough, because the level up slower, I was having problems on a lot of levels that I didn't before. I had to like rework the whole thing. I'm like, oh, this will take too long. So I was like, let's just rally and do a cool one Friday, do this really fun chimps one with just straight up power towers, no stalls, no fortified shell removers, no slowdowns, just straight destroyer of worlds. And it's gonna be kind of fun. It's gonna get really hectic in the 80s and 90s, but doesn't it always, doesn't it always, especially in chimps on an expert one, you can expect something like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to just go first top path for this one and then bottom path and then top path and what we're doing is that they've buffed them recently. So now, before you would just go like the top path for your your nuke sub, right? Or the Bluntonium reactor. You just go top path and going bottom path was kind of a no-no. But now they've upgraded to where both cross paths actually do something. And in this case, he shoots or pulses, whatever he does, he does it a lot faster now with the airburst starts and makes them stronger and cooler. And so it's really, really, really cool because now we can use him as a popping tower and then turn him into the submersion one that reveals camo and then kills all the balloons later on once he's Bluntonium Reactor because usually you wouldn't spend the money on twin guns or airburst just to have a nuke sub later. So super benefit, super awesome. And then later on, we're gonna be using a lot of ballistic missiles, which if you guys didn't know yet are super overpowered and buffed right now, which I will show you how crazy they are. It's just gonna get a lot of fun, guys. So we're gonna get twin guns here and then airburst darts. And then we're gonna get submerge and support. Yeah, submerge and support. I don't even know half these names, guys. I just call them things. Top one, get the top one. It reveals camo. But for this one, we're gonna get the airburst because we all know that one's name. And then after that, we're going to have to worry about lead. This one's gonna be kind of like paycheck to paycheck kind of thing. We're gonna to have to like every, at the end of each round kind of recuperate. So don't skip ahead just yet. Wait until like the forties or something like that. So you know you're safe and don't skip ahead too far and go like, what just happened? Why did I lose? Why did the camos beat me? Because before, uh, like on the hard one I did, Brickle kind of handled the 33 with the camos. On this one, she's only like level 6.9.9 and isn't level seven yet, so she can't handle the camos on 33, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do in this next round, most likely if we have enough money, we're gonna buy submerge and support, and then we're gonna go back to first. And what we're doing is just prepping for 24. So now we're gonna buy another sub, and this one's just gonna be a placeholder at this point, right here, as close as you can to Brickle, because not only does Brickle need to have subs in range so he can do his really cool speed buff that he does with his ability to all water towers, but we're also gonna have a sub commander that needs to have all of the airburst or all of the uh, ballistics in range so they can go crazy. So just cluster them as tightly as you possibly can, and we're gonna put one more here as well. So this one's just a placeholder for our sub commander, and I just want the ballistic one I'm gonna get to be like really close to it. So like right there. All right, cool, cool. So now what we're going to do on this round is a little different. You're gonna go submerge. And as soon as that green one gets in range and turns it from camo, you're gonna go first again. And that was that simple. So now you just leave them on first up until you can get up to 2,700 for that balloon reactor. But now you're gonna get barbed darts. 
and then you're gonna get heat tip darts so you can pop the lead, which is really cool because we're just a one-stop shop. If it wasn't for Brickle, we would have nothing but subs for this entire strategy, which is just really, really cool for me. And I really like that just because I've always wanted to do like a, a chimps with monkeys only, like dart monkeys or a chimps with ninjas only. It's just kind of hard. So this one's pretty much that. It just, you kind of need Brickle. So I guess it's not completely that, but here, what are you gonna do? So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy up to 2700 for a Bluntonium reactor. So I'm gonna skip ahead to that. Let's grab that Bluntonium reactor, put him back on Submerge, make sure to do that, because I've done that before where I don't. And then he will solo 33, of course, because it's not that big of a round, but this one is just so cool now. And it's it's awesome because we were able to use Airburst to help us pop, but now he's actually gonna help us destroy balloons and pop. It's just really cool. And I, we didn't waste any money. Not one of these towers are not gonna be used, which is really, really cool, because usually we have, what, like 15 to 25 dart monkeys laying around that we're not gonna use. This is really awesome. Now we're gonna get the top pack for this one and then twin guns. And this one's gonna be the same exact thing, but we're not gonna get it right away. We're just gonna go for air burst and, oh no, 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 what am I on? I thought I was on this guy. No, he's gonna be the nuke sub. This one's gonna be a sub commander. I was on the wrong sub, too many of them. This one, we're just gonna go air burst darts and then triple guns and then armor piercing darts. And that will handle round 40 for us. So I'm gonna skip ahead to when we have armor piercing darts ready for round 40. We'll get armor piercing darts and then we can get this guy up to twin guns because that's all we're really going to have money for. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the first ability. You don't need to and you'll see why this thing's just going to decimate it. Yeah, we definitely did not need the ability, but I am not taking any chances at all for this one, guys, because there always is a random thing. And when we get to these experts, they're so... What's the word I'm looking for? It's like they're so different all the time and you never know. So what may seem like the perfect strategy that I did about seven times on my phone, I, I'd bring it over here to make a video and either it could be me like talking through it or the, the change to PC, whatever it may be, I don't wanna mess with it. But we did this one, we're gonna go 0, 3, 2, and we're gonna have a ton of them. This is gonna be sort of like the Grand Master Ninja strategy, just kind of reverse. Instead of all the towers buffing the main one, we're gonna have the main tower buffing all the other ones. So with that speed boost, plus the Airburst Star speed boost, these ballistic missiles are just gonna go, bah, 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 bah. it's gonna get out of hand crazy and just pretty much take out the entire game. So we're gonna have up to 15 of these, but you need to watch and stay tuned just to see when to place the first couple and then the next couple and then phase three with all of them. But for now, guys, we have our first ballistic, we have our armor piercing, we have our brickle, we have our nuke sub. We're gonna turn this one up top to the exact same thing as the bottom. So we're gonna go longer range advanced intel and we're gonna use this one for popping as well. So we don't have any problems. So definitely go the top path, then the bottom path, then the top path again. That's probably the safest bet here just to make sure you have enough adequate popping power to take this game on. So we're gonna go submerge and support, but again, put it back to first so we can help pop. And just watching that sub kind of use airburst just look kind of funny to me. It doesn't seem right. So let's get this one back to a, a nuke sub pretty quick. And um, nuke sub, is that from BTD battles? Cause that's why I call a sabotage supply line sometimes is that, but I don't know why I call this a nuke sub. So if you definitely know why I call it that, please let me know below. But what we're gonna do now is we need one more. Cause I wrote a, I have a little cheat sheet here on my phone of everything that we're gonna do here today. And I need to have two subs to get to the sub commander. So two ballistics on top of the armor piercing darts and the nuke subs to get to the sub commander. So we're going to put him as close as we humanly possibly monkily can right there. And we're going to go for the middle path as well. Get that to ballistics first. Always go the ballistics first, just because at this point it's not going to make or break you by not having it for that very next round. So that extra range will be just be cool and you won't mess it up and forget about it. Cause I've forgotten to get the ballistics before and that's not cool. So let's do that and then get the air burst and then move on. And then after this next airburst, we're going to save up to $27,000, guys. It's going to get a little crazy, but I think we'll be okay. Now, what's going to happen here? I'm going to skip ahead on it, but I trust that you guys can do it because I believe in you. So on a 52, 54, and 57, I do, you do not need to use abilities, but every once in a while, something happens to where you need an ability. So what's going to happen is a couple times during both of those levels, the Moabs are going to go like this and cross over and they're gonna be able to take them. But in the one off occasion it can't, you're gonna use your ability. So I will show you 52 and then we'll skip ahead to 60 and we'll go from there with that BFB. Cause it does get a little crazy. And if you guys are wondering, this is a little side story. So last week I told you about how my wife was doing a bachelorette party for like quarantine bachelorette party. So I had to leave the house exiled on my, on the weekend and had to go to my mom's house and stay there, which was cool. 
got to spend time with my mom and my grandma, but then I had to, I came home actually that night, I got to sleep in my own bed, but this weekend, so Saturday, tomorrow is the wedding. And so all of the girls are gonna be like, tons of them are gonna be at my house to be getting ready and stuff for the wedding. So I have to completely be gone. So tonight I have to go spend that at my mom's and then I don't even get to come home tomorrow till like three or four. So why, why does that matter? Because it was supposed to be dad hat Friday, but then today we have to go do things and go out in public and like see people that we know and stuff. So I wanted to do nice hair Friday. And so I didn't get to wear my dad hat, just chill. It's more of a do things Friday. So don't know dad hat. I won't even be here tonight or tomorrow, but it's cool. I'm gonna take my Xbox and just pretty much chill all night, which is gonna be kind of fun. And uh, I'm just gonna probably play it all night. So if any of you guys play the Call of Duty Warzone, definitely let me know because I will be on pretty much all night trying to get better because I'm terrible at it and I just really want to be good. So do that all night. Anyways, um, 52 is here. And as I was saying, there's gonna be a Moab that crosses here and a Moab that crosses here. For the most part, they can take them. Like he'll take this one just fine. If it's one on its own, it's fine. But every once in a while, they cross together. So 52 is no problem, see? But for whatever reason, sometimes they cross together and that just kind of blows us up. So I'll show you, I just wanna show you. I didn't wanna sit here the whole time. I wanna skip ahead so you guys don't have to like hear me babble and stuff, but I just don't want you guys to have any problems. So that's easy. That's 53, huh? Okay, so let's see where this goes. So it's the ceramics mixed with it. So this one will be fine. You can see it's starting to pop it. This one, yeah, see that's not popping fast enough. So I'm gonna use my ability on that just to be safe. You didn't need to, but I don't wanna have any problems. So that's why we're gonna do it that way. Now I'm gonna skip ahead. You're gonna do that again on 57 if you need to, but I'll see you guys again on 60. So by the way, the reason why we haven't just bought more ballistics and just done it that way instead of using abilities and things like that, or just using abilities more free handedly is because this is done strategically. I mean, you can use abilities as much as you want. Just we need them on 60 for sure. So don't use it for 59 or 58 is why I said that. Well, I don't know if I said that, but don't. And then, um, so I wrote down on my notes cause I tried this multiple different ways. So I tried it with three ballistics and I didn't get sub commander in time or in the time that I wanted to, it was harder. I tried it with just one sub, I made it, but I had to use a lot more abilities. So this is like different times. This is like mock seven of this strategy, guys. I went and did it a bunch of different times. And so you'll see that again when we go for the preemptive, we're gonna have to do the same thing with five subs this time. And so I tried it with four, tried it with three, and the best option was five. So for this one, it was two. And as you can see, we're right on the money for getting that sub commander. We're gonna have to beat 60. And so we're gonna throw a mine right here. And as soon as 60 starts, it's gonna turn into Moabs, which you think you'll be able to beat it, but then it's really strong. So I'm not messing around. We're gonna use our first ability and just get out of the doghouse with that one. And now what we're gonna do is in the middle of this round, we're gonna get our sub commander up. It's gonna look a little scary, but it won't. You're fine, we're chilling. There you go. So now you're good there. So now the next step guys is we need five ballistic missiles. So it's up to you where to place them. I'm gonna place them as, as close as I can to the sub commander. And also like, I just want one cluster in the middle right now. Like I said, we're gonna have 15 of these guys. And so they're gonna be like really ugly placed later on and only a few of them are hitting the track in the right spot, things like that. But for the first ones, I just want a tight little cluster that are gonna be hitting the track as much as they can. And that's kind of our plan right now. And then we're gonna have to save up what is like $45,000 because we need the first strike plus the other one. So it's gonna get a little crazy. But like I said, I did this with three subs. And again, I did it and got up to the ballist or the preemptive but with a lot of work and a million abilities. So the best way to do is to get five and you really don't have to use that many abilities, which is really awesome. But what you're gonna wanna do also is turn off auto start like I have done here. And you're gonna want to, at the end of each round, recuperate, see how much money you got and buy a new sub and at least place it. Because you don't want to have four or $5,000 sitting around. You want to have your subs like as soon as you can. And not necessarily for these first earlier rounds, but when you get into the 80s and 90s, you need to place them every round because it's gonna get crazy. So I'm gonna continue to place two more. So this is my fourth one. Yeah, fourth one. So I'll give this one a 15, 10 for this. And then we're gonna get the twin guns. And you can place them in the exact same spot as me so you don't have any differences. Cause I have noticed like little differences here and there. And like one time I did this run through and I, I like placed it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna change it up. Cause you know me, I like to change it up. If it, if it works, I wanna change it for whatever reason. So I did. And the next thing I know, like I didn't make it that next round. Like what, what did I just do? So like this is obviously touching more of the track. And so in my head, I'm like, I can't really tell. Cause I'd want it here to start popping better, but then I also want it closer to my cluster so they can just do damage at one point. But I, I'm overthinking, I'm just gonna put that one there. We'll go 15, 10 on that one. And now what we're gonna do guys is I'm going to jump ahead because I don't think we're gonna need an ability until 80. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit with these five ballistics with the airburst, so make sure they're all zero three twos. And so check them all if you haven't already to make sure you haven't messed up, because I do it all the time. And then like this one's not done, obviously. And you're gonna go twin guns on him. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy first strike for this one right under the sub commander. If you guys are following along as you're doing it, and if it'd be cooler if you guys watched it and then went back, so then you guys know what you're working with here. But um, if you're the kind of crazy person that does it right at the right time, then go for it. Uh, make sure you have all five of your subs good to go. And then what we're gonna do is buy first strike for this one right under the sub commander. Where should we get this one? Um, now nah, this one sees more of the track. I'm gonna get him as the ballistic. So I'm gonna get this guy's ballistic and what I'm going to do is save up for 14,000 for that and then I will come back at 80 for that ZOMG. So we have our first strike right here. I think, yeah, right there. And then we're still like 20,000 off of our preemptive, which is a little crazy. And I'm gonna first strike this on 80 just because I can, because why not? There you go, that's 80 guys. That was pretty easy. So if this was hard mode, we'd be done. But that's not that big of a deal. So now what we're going to do is I have my cheat sheet here. At 82, we're gonna use our first ability. And I write myself terrible notes. I'm gonna have to trust myself. I don't trust most people, so especially not myself. But it's gonna be a little tough just because I write terrible notes. Just 82 first ability doesn't really say when. This one looks a little scary too, but I didn't write a note, so okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is first ability on this one. I'm gonna use my wits about me and you know try to use my memory to see when I did it last time. And I think this is the BFB fortified one. Yes, yes it is. So as soon as those fortifieds get too close for comfort, first ability. And then they're gonna mop up everything in their track because they're literally hitting a brick wall, which is awesome. Okay, so for 83, it says mine. So when I put a mine down, that usually means that it's not 100% guarantee. So that means that there's gonna be something that's a little weird that we might have to throw down last minute. And if I throw it down last minute, you guys should throw it down earlier, just watch what I do. Um, I think we're doing good here. So what we're doing is we're just making sure and see how it's, yeah, we're gonna mine there. So what was going on is that he was popping them consistently, but then they were kept getting slower and slower with their pops or where they were being popped. And I saw some ceramic slipping through. So I just use my mine. You guys can put up even closer if you want, like faster, I mean. So then you can just have it ready and mine it and then go after whatever is left to clean up. All right, so we're gonna be hitting 84 and 84 is first, 84 first when BFB. I would imagine that means there's gonna be some fortifieds. No, so this is the same thing as the last round, but now we have ugly BFBs to make it even harder. So what I'm gonna do is first ability. There you go. I like to speed it up because I'm like, I'm already there, I have to do it. And then we're gonna get that preemptive strike. And now this is gonna be a no brainer round right there. Okay, so 85 is as you know to, oh, just realized too. So now what we're doing guys is now it is the crunch time. You're gonna literally put down as many of these guys as you possibly can and as fast as you can. So just put them there. And at the end of each round, like I was saying, you're gonna turn off auto start and you're going to recuperate and just keep buying them. And every single round you need 15. So it's gonna take you a few rounds here and a few different placements, but you're gonna just do your best and put them as closely to the track as you can in range of subcom. And subcom is is short for sub commander if you're cool. Okay, so for 86, says nothing. So we don't do anything on 86, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. All right, if you know what that's from, let me know in the comments below. All right, so did I, yeah, 86 is no ability, right? Yeah, sure. 87, no ability, okay. I trust you, trust you past Joel, you can handle this. You got 1510 for that subcom or the ballistic missile. Seriously, I said don't do anything on this one, that's scary. I don't know, well, speed through it, I guess. Close your eyes, it'll end up faster. Okay, cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is keep throwing them, guys, keep throwing them down, like I said. As high and as left as you can get it. Right there. It's getting a little scary, guys. You can tell by the tone of my voice and the speediness of it, I'm getting faster and faster. I'm getting a little nervous here. So 88, we're gonna not do anything it says, just leave it, okay. That was fine. Um, 89, it says put a mine. Okay, we'll put a nine on 89. A mine on 89 or a nine on 89? Okay. <laughs> Is this how you guys feel when you watch one of my strategies? Just like, what are you talking about? Because it just feels like that right now. Like, I feel, I, don't even, I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, so again, I'm gonna use a mine, but I don't know when. So obviously when it gets a little crazy, I'm gonna place this. Oh no, I did not want that guy there. That sucks. 
All right, so get the mine ready. I should not have done that. I was getting a little too crazy right now. So I probably didn't need that mine, but I didn't want to take any chances. I really don't like the placement of this guy. I'm really bummed out about that. That's actually going to mess me up. You want them as close and tight as possible, and I'm pretty sure I messed up a couple of pixels. But I forgot to mention the most beautiful part about the strategy, guys, is the DDTs. So I tried this so many different ways. I tried it with the fifth tier top path boat with an ice tower to put a village on the water to speed them all up, which also, so this guy speeds up and the village speeds up. It didn't do anything, right? It just was not working out. So then what I did was I tried a sniper. I tried um, just putting as many subs as I could and nothing was getting those stupid DDTs. So all I had to do was just get the preemptive strike and now every round with the DDT does not even need an ability or nothing. On 91 you need nothing it says, okay. Um, scared me. But yeah, so, and then I put the preemptive and now every round with the DDT, you don't have to do anything because DDTs are meant to be the hardest part of the round that they're in, right? But even on 99 with them fortified, this guy takes them out, like just one shot kills. So it's really cool because those rounds are just now nothing, which used to be the hardest or now the easiest. Uh, let's keep placing these towers though, guys. Keep placing those subs, get them as close as you can. 92, oh no, 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 don't go away. Okay, no, nothing till 94, okay. So I'm gonna speed it through here because I'm a little scared. My worst one's 97, guys. I know it sounds dumb, but what happens is the first strike doesn't do as much as I, I would hope it would. Is this really just gonna do nothing? Just, do, just let it be on its own? Yeah, I don't trust that. I don't, I don't trust myself. Oh, just, oh, I used first strike. That's not good. Okay, cool. I don't need it again until 97. That was actually a very dumb idea. Don't don't listen to me, guys. Um, you you could have used the mine if you want, but I pressed the wrong button on my finger. That was dumb. Okay, so um, 97 though, right? So what happens is, is you first strike the first one. You're like, oh, okay, not a big deal. Just first striking it. But then the second one just like doesn't pop. And you're like, what's going on here? And so all of a sudden you're just getting wrecked and then the one slips through. The worst part is you don't have a mine because you need a mine on 96. And so we're gonna have to think out of the box on this one and try to make it work. Cause I don't wanna die in 97 again. Cause I've done it a couple times, but look at these DDTs, nothing, nothing. Oh yeah, that, that's good to see, I like that. All right, so we're gonna grab one more sub here. What was that one? All right, right there. See, as you can see, they're touching a lot of the track, which is really nice. Okay, so for 94, it says first ability when you get to the ZOMG. I'm pretty sure I'll know what that means, hopefully. So we get this barb darts, heat tip darts. Okay, so as soon as these DDTs get too close for comfort, we're going, to, or the ZOMGs, we're going to use our first ability in this mop. How about right now? Let's do it. Look, watch this, guys. Watch this. Literally nothing can get through. I don't care what it is. Nothing's going to get through that. That is crazy. All right, so let's grab another one. That's out of range. How about that one? That one is not out of range. Cool. And so 95, nothing, because it's DDT round. So if it's a DDT round, just let it be. Just let it zoom through, because those preemptives are killers. Just watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Ba-boom. Sometime today. Look at that. Oh, that is so exciting. So exciting. Okay. And now we have a ton of money. We can buy more subs, but I'm not going to do it prematurely like last time, because that was bad. Okay, we'll put this one here, I guess. Go one, two, three. Now there's not starting to hit the track as much, which is a little bit of a bummer. So for 96, it says mine. Here's the huge, huge, huge issue with this. So 96, you might need a mine, but the problem is you have to have a mine for 97. So it's kind of on the risk part here. Cause I'm like, what do we do? And so, hmm, I don't know guys. I don't know. We'll just see, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Cause you don't want to use your ability. Actually, Maybe just use the ability, like the first ability, we could do that and then have, and then it'll regen by 98. I don't know. Seems to be working just fine, actually. Put another guy here. No, I'll wait, I did that last time, I screwed up. So do we need a mine though? Maybe we won't. Um, I'm actually going to use the first ability. This could be a bad play, but I'm going to do it. So first ability on 90, on 96. And the reason why I chose to do that is because I don't need it for 97. And I do need it for 98. So I'm hoping that I can stall 98 long enough or 97 long enough to get my 97 
or get the ability back for 98. That is my intention. So let's see if we can play it out. What we're going to do now though, guys, we have a few grand here. So let's put some more of these towers in here. Let's clean up. And we just need 15, remember. So how about this one right here? That's kind of ugly spot though, huh? This one here. Yeah, I like that one. That's cool. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. We'll go this one here too. This is a good spot too. Close to the subcom as you can get just because it'll be cooler. Right there. That's really not much of the tracks. It's kind of a bummer. How much do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need one more, guys. One more. Okay, let's put this right here. Perfect. And he'll touch the track barely. So for 97, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first strike. First strike. You hear me? That's gonna get scary though. We're gonna first strike now. And that's gonna take that one out completely. We're gonna hope that this one can go on its own, but I don't actually know. So if it can't, we're going to mine, but we don't wanna take it out too quick because we need our other one. So um, kind of when it breaks, I think I'll mine. That's what I'll do. So now. Yeah, that's a good play. I like that. Cause now our sub, our first ability will come in time, I think. So all we have to do is hold on until that first ability comes. Is that possible? I don't exactly know, I don't remember but I think it would because I beat it. So let's hope. And as soon as that ability comes, just go for it guys. Now, forget about it, just go for it. Upgrade this guy, don't forget. There we go. And if you need to, you still have your first strike. Don't forget about that, but we don't even need it. Oh my God. Okay, so that's the way to do it. I wrote the wrong thing. You were wrong, Pastoral. I put in mine 96, you need first ability 96. Okay, so now you don't need to spend any more money because the subs really aren't gonna even reach at this point, but you might as well just throw them in there. Forget about it. We'll go like this, one, two, three, four, five. And then honestly, I should have gotten another first strike. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so for 99 guys, don't do anything. Just watch this beauty unfold. You guys ready? I'm gonna look at that. That was ridiculous. That was pure and utter ridiculousness. Okay, so for 90, 100, obviously you're gonna first strike, you're gonna drop the mine, you're gonna do everything you can and just powerhouse this thing down to death. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna put the mine down. We're gonna do a first strike. That's gonna take a lot of it. And then we're gonna first ability as soon as it gets close enough. All right now, and they're all hitting and they're all hitting. So just hit it hard guys, go for it. Look at that. Look at that, that was ridiculous. So what I did there is I made sure this bottom tower right here was hitting. And once they're all attacking, can't use the first ability, knocked it out. So just make sure on that 97, because that one was a little tough. So on 96, use your first ability. And I'm sorry, you are going to have to slow down and go through those parts and make sure you get it right. But it is generally pretty easy. It's just ability timing. For those of you who know how to ability time, all you needed were the towers and the placements. And then you guys can take it from there. And I know you guys will have no problems. And look at, I got some cool totems and I got $1,200, which is for those of you who wonder how I get money, it's from playing these maps, because that was pretty cool. And we also have a black metal. Let's check that out so you can see the validity of this strategy. Uh, let's go down here and there you go. We got a black metal just now on the chimps. Cool stuff. I hope you guys like it. If you did hit that like button and also subscribe if you feel ever so inclined because that would definitely help out the channel. And then stay tuned for next week. Hopefully I have some cool videos and then Sunday will be the live stream on Twitch. So I'll see you guys there. Have a good weekend.